Your CNOS Health Watch on Siouxland News. One of the many things your brain controls is your coordination, but what happens when something goes wrong with that connection? Siouxland News reporter Katie Link went to CNOS to learn what's called ataxia is and how it can affect you. Dr. Elizabeth Hartman is a neurologist at CNOS. She says ataxia is a disorder that causes problems with your coordination. And for some patients, it's just more of an issue with control of hands that they have trouble with coordination. For other patients, it's more of an issue with walking and walking instability. But for many ataxia patients, they can have uh, a combination of those symptoms that can affect their functioning. Philip Walding is a patient at CNOS. He says he has a genetic form of ataxia, and he knew when he started to see the signs. That I couldn't get, keep my balance. He says he does some physical therapy and exercising to help treat his ataxia. It's the time I just I ride my bike, I got a stationary bike. The main treatment for ataxia is physical therapy. So physical therapy, um, our professionals can really help to um, fine-tune a set of exercises for the individual patient that can help them to function better. With a lack of coordination, patients may need help doing daily activities. So that can include working with occupational therapists as well that can help to fine-tune hand coordination. Um, often we get them fitted with special writing tools or implements that can help them do their activities of daily life better. Physical therapy also helps with core strength to help prevent falls. In addition, a cane or walker may be used. Prognosis for ataxia really depends on the underlying cause. For patients who have a familial or genetic form of ataxia, it generally is relatively slowly progressive over time. Whereas for a patient who has a stroke and develops ataxia, the symptoms may get dramatically better over a series of weeks with physical therapy. It all depends on how the ataxia formed. For Siouxland News, I'm Katie Link.